I think it is not surprising that we humans react with fear, with overwhelm, to the greatest threat that we have ever faced. In fact, we humans, that's the way we're wired and that's why we're still alive because when the lion comes at us, we do one of three things. We fight it, we freeze and hide under our blankets, or we go into flight, fight, flight, freeze. We have been doing that, my friends, for thousands of years. In fact, we've been doing it as long as we have been human. So that is what we are wired to do. So I am not surprised that when we recognize the biggest threat we have ever had to the existence of humanity on this planet, that there are so many people that go into fight and begin to blame and attack others. That there are so many people that go into freeze because they feel overwhelmed by the scale of the problem. That there's so many people who go into flight because they just go, actually, I don't want to see that piece of news. Can I have a piece of chocolate cake? Right? Because distract themselves. So I understand that. That is a human reaction. The question I think we all have in front of us is it has been a human reaction that has served us well. Does it continue to serve us well? Or are we at the point in which we have to recognize the threat, recognize what our instinctual reactions ought to be, and then make an intentional choice about changing our reaction and stepping into cultivating and, and growing our sense of agency about being able to make a difference. That is not something, honestly, that society has taught us. But that is what is needed now. And that is why the Urshad Prize is so important. Because as we have heard, the Urshad Prize points, scours the world, finds, points to, brings them to, um, bring them to scale and support, not just those of you who are actually having an impact that can be measured in tons or acres or trees planted, that is really important. But the other piece that I think is equally or even more important, which is underneath that, you are showing to the world that there is a different way of thinking. There's a different way of speaking. And there definitely is a different way of acting. And by showing that there is another way, you're helping to not just inspire, but honestly, pull people in the direction of the solutions and of the better world that we want to see. So it is not just, yes, it is also about measurement and integrity, as Mark Carney said. But it is also a question of, can we get to what humanity can really do if we pull ourselves up by the bootstraps at this most critical moment in the decisive decade?